Um, good morning to the work group call, everybody. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, and I've had a, a, an apology today from Anina, who can't make it. I know she's incredibly busy at the moment, but it's great that Jubilant is on and he'll be giving us an update a little bit later on what we're doing with Malayalam um, and a few other things as well that St. Gibbs are up to. Um, as is normal, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll quickly go through um, what we're working on the West Coast call last week. Um, and then um, Jubilant, I'll offer uh, control over to you to give us an update on everything that St. Gitz is working on. And I know you're doing Malayalam. I know you've had the Asia Pacific Study Group and the Women in Blockchain event. It'd be great to find out on those. Yeah. And Sajita San, I'll then hand over to you um, to give us an update on all the work you've been doing on the Japanese repository this week. And I've seen all of that going on and uh, incredibly impressive. Um, and if you could give us a little update on that, so I'll hand over to you. Um, and those are the call, those are the items that we have today. So we only may take about half an hour or so, but that's totally fine. Um, and it's just one thing to say that um, I will not be able to host this call over the next two weeks because I will be on vacation. Um, however, the call is always here. People can always join it just to chat or whatever. So, so it will always be open. Um, but I will be back for the um, last session in August. So um, that will be the next session that I run. So, so I won't be here for the next two Fridays. Um, so I won't be hosting a call, but if anybody else wants to host it, they can, that's totally fine. Um, but it'll be a couple more weeks before we have a, it'll be three more weeks before we have another call like this. Okay, good. So um, let's have a quick uh, look at the updates from last week. Um, and it was a good call last week on the Western Hemisphere. Um, uh, as it was on the Eastern Hemisphere. It's always a really good call at the moment. You'll notice that we have, you know, we're, we're well into Q3 now, uh, lots of stuff going on. Um, it was the last call of July last week. Um, and we had a, a really good Eastern Hemisphere call, excellent. Um, and the Western Hemisphere call, also excellent. Now it, look, it might look like there's more content, but that's because we're doing, we're generating a lot of work on the Eastern Hemisphere call and picking it up on the Western Hemisphere calls. So in terms of release status, you can see everything that's going on. There's been a 1.4.8 update to the CA. So the certificate authority now is at 1.4.8. Um, and version 2.x is proceeding incrementally. It's still very early days. Um, obviously, um, people are starting to take vacation in the Western Hemisphere at the moment. Um, work is progressing. Um, that's fine. I gave an update on our international languages topic. Um, uh, giving an update on, on what we've done with Malayalam and Japanese. And again, I will mark out um, some key points, but of course we've got full minutes for what we did, so, so we can always refer back to that. Um, it's also then worth mentioning that we've got four other translations going on at the moment. So we've got uh, Renato leading a Brazilian for Portuguese translation, which is wonderful. We have Umar, Umar leading a French translation, which is wonderful. We have Maria leading a Spanish translation, and you may have noticed that Arsene has also started a Russian language translation. And you can see all of the international groups on this page here. So we really are making excellent progress. Um, you'll notice that Arsene hasn't created any um, a working group yet, but he has actually done lots and lots of um, lots and lots of updates to the GitHub repo. So if we go across to the GitHub um, repo. And we have a look at the Hyperledger Fabrics i18n. We have a look at our 2.2 release. You'll notice that inside our uh, docs locale folder, we do actually have a Russian translation. All right. So if you're able to go in here, you'll start to see now uh, a Russian translation, which, which is kind of excellent. So again, if we pick out any of these topics, um, oh, oh, actually, that's a, not, a, not a great topic to pick. I should have picked a, a better topic, but let's uh, pick out the, uh, let's say, the title page indexed RST. Oopsie daisy, that one hasn't been translated either. But but do trust me. Um, let, let's take one of these topics. There has been significant translation. Here we are. We can see inside um, in, in Russian. So you know, Arsenal is doing a really nice job there, and, and that's just great to see. So we've got some really good progress going on in our language groups. I shared our discussion on language anchors. Um, we went through the Malayalam example. Why anchors are important. And we're going to try and come up with a proposal for that and include it in the style guide. And Joe will probably start to work that. Uh, Chris gave us a really good update on samples. There's a lot of work going on on the samples at the moment. 
trying to bring all the samples in line with the new smart contract APIs and the new uh, application APIs. So they're all really using best practice um, and also focusing on something called asset transfer as a, as a scenario. Um, there's been a bit of work that we did on last week's work group call. Um, Shazita San and myself did, did quite a bit of work last week on, on, a, on a proposal to acknowledge and recognize um, the contributors to international languages. Um, and you'll notice that um, if you go to this link here, what I did at the bottom was actually start to outline the blog and video. Um, think about a title, uh, Hyperledger Translators in their own words. What would the blog post structure look like? What would the promo video structure look like? Um, and, and then how would the contribution video structure look like? Um, so GT San, you were very, very helpful last week. You know, what we identified was we need a blog. It would be quite nice to have a blog that was, this was its title. Um, it, we spoke about the international work groups. What are they? Why are they important? What do they do? The story of the people. Um, folks like you who've been you know, working on this. Um, a short promo video before and then a call to action, how to get started, a video of how to contribute, and then other projects. For the promo video structure, what we thought would be nice would be to have folks in the different um, translation teams speaking in their own language, um, and then for us to do a translation around the side so that you could see that in your language. And that's quite a nice little thing to do, and to have a full set of questions here. So the questions would just be very short questions. You'd record them on your own personal laptop, um, what's your name? Who do you work for? Which country do you come from? Which language do you speak? Why is blockchain important? One sentence. Why is translating important in general? More specifically, why is it important to translate fabric? How do you collaborate with other people in your languages? Um, which topics do you most enjoy translating and why? Um, what does it feel like to see your own words in a translated topic? What advice would you give to somebody who starts translating? Um, and then say, I'm inviting you to translate. Now, this is not an exhaustive set of questions. But what we felt was, if if you, if anybody would like to add more questions, add them. You, as as you know, as someone being videoed, would video yourself answering these questions, um, and then what we do is we'd edit them all together. We'd edit them all together, uh, and 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 splice people together answering different things. So everybody would answer their name, but we might take the best answers for why is translating important or whatever, and then edit that into a short sixty second video. Um, and then present it with the translations around. So, so it would be in your in your native tongue, and 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 that's appropriate because that's really what we want here. So the video would really have all the different languages that we support, all spoken by translators in their native language. And and, um, and I think she said that was a really nice idea. Um, and then we have some uh, pointers to the next steps, to documentation, whatever. Uh, and then here's some guidance for. Um, the promo video contributor. So at the end of the video, we'd have some pointers to the documentation, sign up at Linux Foundation, some work group links, links to the Rocket Chat. And then here's, here's some, some little advice on how to record a, a video on your local machine. All right. And then we'd have the contribution video structure. And again, so GT Sam, I think using Condo Sam's diagram, we can work it a bit here. And then actually walk through the instructions. So fork the repo, clone it, do a local build and show it, make a small change, rebuild, send your fork, create a PR, wait for approval, show in the published documentation. And then the call to action will be join a work group, make a pull request. Um, and again, to so GTSAM, I think what you've done here, which is to have a, a set of um, items there that says, um, here's what we're looking for people to work on, is a really nice idea. All right, so, so that's the basic structure. Um, you know, I'd be interested in your thoughts. Um, so Jita San, this is largely, I largely wrote down what we discussed last week. So I hope that's okay. Um, Jubilant, Jeff, I think Jeff, you were on the call last week. So, so any thoughts that you guys have? Um, and of course you can go in and add questions to this if you'd like. Um, we won't be doing anything I think until September until we've got some of the publications live. But, um, but do have a think about this. And again, we'll be looking, I'll be looking and David Boswell will be looking for volunteers. So, you know, you do have a, a chance to, to get your, your slice of 60 seconds of fame. So Jeff, Jubilant, uh, if, you'd like to, if you'd like to take part, please do let me know. 
There's no rush. We'll be reaching oh, out. Hello. Hello. Hello, Julian. Yeah, yeah. Can I? Can I? Of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, regarding us uh, last time, uh, markdown files uh, issue, right? It was not able to compile. Like, uh, uh, yeah. is it, uh, that was the problem there, right? Yes. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and uh, we have uh, made some changes in uh, that Tripoli file. Yes. Uh, and uh, now uh, uh, things are positively proceeding. That is, that uh, changes could be positively done. And, uh, and that's a good thing. And uh, now, uh, uh, as intimated before, the formatting of the uh, uh, this the documentation was not correct as you told. And uh, presently, we are uh, I mean, so working on that formatting. We are making that one correct, and the process is almost uh, over. I means I mean, uh, or means that I means the documentation process are almost over, and uh, we are trying to work with formatting. That's update from our side. Yes, that's right, and I and I think that's actually that's actually really helpful. So the pip file works really well now, um, Jubilant, um, and I actually noted that in last week's meeting minutes because Anina was very kind to inform me uh, via GitHub. And actually, what I did then was I I had updated the contributions welcome topic in Malayalam and made some small changes, and then you'll notice that now all the links to Markdown all work perfectly well. I did a local build to check that out. And you can see that the Malayalam now is formatting really nicely. So that's a great job that you guys have done there. I mean, this really does start to look now like a professional topic. And we actually use some of the anchors. Okay. Uh, and we actually use some of the anchors here as well that Renato had suggested. So here's an, here's an example of a Malayalam anchor, if you can see it here. And what it'll do is it'll click you forward to this topic, all right? Um, and that's using an anchor. And again, that was something that Renato wants us to use. So, so thank you for those updates, Jubilant. I think now that, now that we can generate beautiful Malayalam documentation, that's, that's wonderful. So, so great job there. Um, that's really good. Um, do, you, do you have any updates on the Asia Pacific um, work group that I know has been going on, Jubilant? Uh, uh, Asia Pacific work group. Uh, uh, I don't know much about it. Sir. Okay. I don't know much about it at all. I think that's still that's still running for the video. That's still running every Saturday. Um, that's that's still very popular. I think we're in week four at the moment. There'll be another one tomorrow. I think that you are telling about study group. You are yeah. asking about study group. The study group. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't understand it. Right. Right. Yeah, it's going fine. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a third day, a third, fourth week has over, and uh, basically we do on Hyperledger basics, uh, and with the, we uh, discuss the tools uh, on edX, and so uh, fourth week is over. Now, uh, next uh, next week, uh, Mr. Kamlesh of uh, 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 India chapter is uh, providing us uh, a session regarding the same, and uh, tomorrow, 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 but 2 p.m. That's the update. That's right. Yes, and that's going really well. So yeah, thank you, for, thank you for that update, Jubilant. I think it's it's great to see, you know, how successful you're being at doing that, running it every week, lots of attendees, a good discussion. It's really really good to hear. So so thank you for that. And I know that St Gitz was holding a Women in Blockchain event last week. Do you have a little update on that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was really a uh, very great program for us. Um, uh, uh, our for us all too, and uh, Hyperledger, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Julian was very actively involving into it. That uh, we could uh, um, have some very good discussions with uh, very eminent personalities from uh, blockchain arena. Basically, into technical side, we discussed the budget. There were persons from uh, administrative side and uh, even law side. Uh, and uh, so we had a good good combination, and even the uh, panelists and participants have provided us a great appreciation regarding the same because of the versatile combination uh, of the of, of, uh, means, uh, panelists. So it was uh, we had around uh, hundred and uh, about hundred participants, I think wow. about hundred participants, in the, and uh, we got a very good response uh, all over the from the hyperledger community. And really, thank, uh, thanking for uh, all the support provided by the Hyperledger community. That's great. That's great, Jubilant. So, you know, um, 
as you say, and I just pulled up here just for the benefits of the video, you know, the speaker list for the event really was fantastic. You know, um, we had um, um, Shalini Warrior, yeah, Dr. Shane Thomason, um, uh, uh, Napinel uh, NS, um, again, from the Supreme Court of India and the founder of CyberSafety, was very impressive. Uh, Dashita Gillies, um, Sosu yeah. Alec. I mean, what, what a great set of speakers there. And to have over 100 people and, and the good feedback that you've had, that's kind of marvellous. So, you know, a, a big congratulations there. That's, that's just re really good to see. Um, and again, thank you for the update. And I know how thank much... You. I know how much Sankits are doing at the moment. You know, right now you have the ability to have great Malayalam translations. You're running the study group and you've had the Women in Blockchain event. Um, you're really doing some great trailblazing here. So, so we really appreciate that. that that's kind of wonderful. Um, and lots of work that Chris has been doing on samples. I mentioned um, promoting translations. Let's think about that. Um, and then there'll be a little bit of a focus on dead links. Um, and this is something that Pam's going to have a look at. Um, when she gets, back. well, she's actually back from vacation at the moment, so she's going to have a look at that. A a and the recording has been uploaded as you'd expect. Okay, so, so that's what we're working on at the moment. And, and I guess, thank you, Jubilant, because we've just done an update then for everything that St. Gitz is working, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and therefore, Sujit so Sam, could I ask you to give an update on what we're doing with our Japanese translations, please, um, if that's all right. Um, and I can sit in the repository if that's helpful. Thank you. Important point. Thank you, Julian. Uh, Sujita san Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Japanese team had a meeting on, four, on the 4th, and uh, at the time uh, we had a, a, a work forward as about uh, through the uh, translation flow and mm -hmm. recording. And uh, uh, Roy updated the video to uh, on YouTube and we, uh, it, easy, uh, it became easy to share uh, everyone. Uh, Anthony, could you open the uh, Japanese team ag uh, meeting agenda? Yes, absolutely. Um, let, let me just go to that. Um, I'll just quickly go to that again. This is such a nice work group. So here's our, here's our group and a meeting. Uh, yes. And meeting our and agenda on. Yeah, that is. Perfect. Yeah, this is um, at the ah. time at the video, and it is uh, for two hours to, to little long. So, but and it um, sorry, it is in Japanese. So, ah. uh, if you're interested, but and um, it's um, maybe it's. Video uh, is uh, useful. How uh, how to uh, translate we we do. Um, it's um, if you are interested and uh, if uh, please uh, tell me anytime. And uh, uh, after that, um, uh, some document just started uh, translating and uh, discuss uh, discussed. Uh, on GitHub in each file. So mm, that that all the, the document uh, about uh, updated. And uh, Anthony, um, thank you for sharing about uh, uh, document blog um, on web uh, Wikipedia. Wiki, yes. Wikipedia. And I'm ask, uh, I'm wondering uh, when uh, I record the video do you need and uh, do uh, do i have so what we what we'd like to do at the moment is um what we'd like to do at the moment is try and get some shared uh, agreement on, on what we think that what we think i think the most in question thing important thing question at the moment um such as sam is is mm -hmm. these questions because th these questions are what people will say to camera and then we can take those and create a video from them. So, so, so it's it's really if you have any ideas on on good questions to ask other translators, if you could add them here, that would be great. I suspect we'll be looking for people in September to to to, to record the video. Um, okay. What we're trying to do is is socialize this idea at the moment, and it's being well received. 
and I wanted to share it back today because obviously we want some gits to contribute. We'd obviously want the Japanese working group to contribute as well. And I think, and I think what's important and what, what we all discussed last week on this call was, you know, trying to come up with some really good questions here. Now, now these were just questions that you and I came up with last week, but you might look at them and say, you know what, we could maybe add some slightly better questions or I don't really know how to answer that. So what I'd be interested in is if you'd like to, if you'd like to ask your colleagues in the Japanese working group and, and, and Jubilant, if you'd like to ask your colleagues at St. Gitz, you know, how to, um, you know, what other questions they think will be good questions. Because what that does is it, it really helps you if you're, if you're speaking to a camera and you're just having to have what's called an open-ended answer, it's very hard, all right? So for example, Sujita-san, if I said to you, please Sujita-san, just, just tell me about translating. That's a really hard question. <laughs> and, it's really, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's really hard to do in front of a camera and appear coherent. Whereas if I say to you, Sujita-san, uh, you, you can use no more than one or two sentences. Um, mm -hmm. and now, um, what's your name? Uh, who do you work for? Which country do you come from? Um, Sujita-san, give me in, Give me in three words why is blockchain important. Now, what that does, that constraint really helps you because you, you have to think about your answer and it's short and you can deliver it a few times. And, 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 and then when you put it all together, you can take the best pieces of what everybody says and edit them together quite nicely. So, mm -hmm. so that works. It really helps if, if someone's being asked to do that. So, so at the core of a successful video like this it is actually a really great set of questions because the great set of questions will get good answers and then when you mm. put those answers together you can you can create a very good narrative because i can i can take a little bit of what you say a little bit of what jubilant says a little bit of what amina says a bit of what renato says and then i can make all those different points in my video and it looks like you're all speaking together and that works really well and it and it and for you, it just means, well, it'll take you maybe 20 or 30 minutes to record the answers to this. You can record them a few times. You don't have to think about loads of stuff because you're being asked very short questions. And that works quite well. All right. So um, yeah. and so that's really what we're looking at. So you know, if you could be so kind as to ask any of the Japanese working group and, and for saying it's, it's uh, jubilant, if you and Anina would like to say, you know, are there any more questions that you'd like to put in there? And, you know, questions that are, that are short, understandable, and have relatively short answers. We're not looking for essay style. We're looking for, you know, um, just something that's, you know, good, solid advice, um, but, uh, but something that you can answer, an interviewee can answer quite easily. All right, so that's the idea there, Sujita Sam. So if you have any thoughts, there's no rush. I think throughout August, what we're going to try and do is get the shape of this right. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then throughout September, we'll start to create the content. All right. So there's not a rush. Um, okay. and, I'll, and I'll keep everybody informed on this call. We'll do nothing without the work group being fully involved because that's how we work. Um, and I hope that's OK. Yeah. OK. Thank you. And one more thing. Um, the diagram uh, was updated and uh, ah. Yeah, and upload it uh, on the Japanese document wiki page. Uh, sure. Yeah, it's an old one, so uh, you can. And yes. it's, uh, I, I, have, I, I have noticed. I have noticed that you had an, an update here. I, I had a quick look through your video as you were speaking, <laughs> and and and, yeah, saw, and, 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 saw, and saw an update. So yeah, very nice. Yeah, and uh, that is on the top. Uh, top page of uh, the Japanese document group. So uh, please, uh, if you have time, to change the uh, Im images. Here is the new picture. Excellent. So you you can change. Uh, that is very good, isn't it? Yeah. Like, hmm. I will. I will. I will make it. In fact, I think what I can just quickly do is if I can just. Um, yeah. That, that I, will, I will take this and, and make a quick update there. Um, it, it's just the, the idea is here that we, we've, we've got this kind of diagram. So yeah, I, I will definitely do that. All yes, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sujit Sam. That's 
that's really good. So, so, so we're clearly making you know a lot of progress at the moment on our language translations. Um, you know, I think we've got a good idea of the work groups. I know you're doing a huge amount. I mean, I, I notice here all the pull requests that you're doing at the moment. That's that's excellent to see. I see that you've got a really big contribution list. I should have mentioned actually. I should have mentioned. Um, so my apologies to uh, the Spanish working group. But they've really been doing an enormous amount of work um, um, getting together other contributors. Um, and Sajid so Sen, I think they've really um, um, copied um, what the Japanese working group have done. So really focused on getting lots of contributors, lots of different mm -hmm. Spanish speaking contributors. Now, as, as we all probably know, Spanish is, is a very widely spoken language um, and there are different flavors of, of Spanish. And if you look here, look at the different locations where the Spanish working group come from, Panama, Argentina, Mexico, Spain, Chile, uh, Colombia, um, Bolivia as well. I mean, what a great thing to see. Um, so, so they really are doing a great job here, all right, bringing together a whole set of people. And I think they've really um, copied what you've done um, in the Japanese working group there. So that's, that's marvelous to see. We have a saying um, in the UK, um, Sujita Sam, which is that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So when someone copies what you do, they really are acknowledging that, that, that you've done a really good job there. So you should be, you should be flattered that, that, that your, your approach has been copied here. So that's, that's excellent to see. All right, and that's good. Um, but of course, different styles work just fine. And we saw that Arsenal has focused on the translations. And again, when I look at saying it's, you've done a fantastic job getting stuff going and you've got lots of translations going and you've got lots from your institution. So it just depends. There's no right way and wrong way. Um, but, but it's interesting to see that when certain ways are done, people can, can use those if they're appropriate. So, so again, thank you for that, um, Sujita San, and a big thank you to Maria for all the great work that she's doing on the Spanish working group. Okay, great. Um, now, I think, I think that's the set of items that we have for today. Um, so, you know, there's, there's just an awful lot of work, oh, excuse me, I, I will add the minutes later to this call. There's just an awful lot of work going on at the moment, um, and I will keep these links up to date. Um, as I say, next week, next week we'll, we'll, we'll have this call open, but I won't be able to host. So, so, so you, can either, you can either take a break for a couple of weeks, and then I'll see you close towards the end of August, or, or please join if there's anything that you'd like to talk about with with other people all right and i, and I put that note out. uh i'm sorry i'm sorry i will excuse me shall i that's right yeah. i'll ask uh, I, i'll ask anina whether she uh, can connect and if, uh, if she can speak about it something or something like that Thank if, if she's up on to it i will ask her to connect uh, tell you uh, regarding the thing Thanks. okay Thanks. things um, should go like weekly and if anina can assist you uh, to make this the uh, things done, that will be better. I'll 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 ask Anina you know, because I'm not that com comfortable regarding this thing. And if they keep if you can keep uh, do things going, then that's a better thing, right? I will ask Anina. You know. Thank you very much. I, I very much appreciate that. Um, okay, thank you. I, I, but thank you. So thank you very much, Jubilant. That that's great. Um, I, I will forward um, Anina the the host code if if she'd like to do that. Uh, but but again. Um, if she doesn't, that's okay. totally fine as well. Um, so I, I don't want to impose because I, okay. I know how much work you're all doing and Anina's doing at the moment. So, so thank you ever so much for asking. It's great if Anina can, okay. but if you can't, that's totally fine as well. All right, so thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Jubilant. Um, okay, so I think that's about what we have for today. Sometimes the call runs a little bit short, like it's done today, but that's okay. Um, and sometimes we overrun a little bit and that's also okay. Um, is there anything else that anybody would like to raise today? Okay, okay. Well, Jubilant, I'd like to thank you for the updates on the Malayalam translations, which are coming on nicely, on the Women in Blockchain event, which sounds great, and the Asia Pacific Study Group. Um, Sajid Sam, I'd like to thank you for hosting all the work groups and for all the translations that you're doing, and for all of your input on the, on the Fabric blog and video. Uh, and 
The court will be open next week, as we mentioned, and Nina may well be hosting, but if she isn't, that's fine. Uh, and I will see you in a couple of weeks or so. Have a good uh, afternoon and evening and have a nice weekend when it starts you all. Always a pleasure to speak to you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Take care.